Alright, so we're in front of Final Cut here, and uh, there's a picture of me behind a, a very badly placed blue screen. You can see the folds there, and, and you can already see trouble emerging. With uh, I probably should have ironed this if I was serious about what I was doing. Uh, but it seems to work out alright. Anyway, I'm going to show you guys what I do uh, to get to key out that blue. And again, as I keep saying, it's not necessarily the correct way or the way it's supposed to be done, but it, it's a way, and it, it's it's a way it can be done. So um, without further ado, all right, um, I've just imported my footage that I've shot in front of a blue screen, obviously, and also I've imported JPEGs of what I'd like my background to be. And uh, if I, if I want a uh, moving background, just I I will import a uh, image of Niagara Falls there. There we go. Um, which I have also done. Now, the first thing we want to do is lay down that background track and decide on what back background that we want. Um, in this case, I, I've making this video, I've switched between several just to sort of test this out. I've inserted them. I might go for uh, that one as well. I've just dragged them and inserted them into the timeline as I normally would. I'll throw that that one in as well for the hell of it. Alright, so now we've laid down our background, we want to add another track here. And we want to superimpose the image of the, the blue screen stuff that we shot. There we go. Um, first I'm going to just set in and out points just anywhere at the moment just to show you a little bit of footage. And I want to I want to overwrite. I want to get the playhead right at the, at the start. Select my track. I'm going to drag that in just overwrite there. And you can see that just that's superimposed on top of there. Like so. And at the moment, of course, we can't see the background because we haven't keyed out the blue, but this is all we, we want to be doing for now. I may just drag that and make the clip a bit longer, just so I can show you a little more detail here. Alright, so the next thing, we've got our two tracks down. We've got the background track as V1, and we've got the blue screen stuff as V2. I'll double click on that blue screen clip, and I'll go up to the Effects tab here down to video filters and in video filters we have key and this is this is where all the blue and green screen chroma key is and, and that sort of stuff all the relevant stuff to what we're doing here is under key and um, we'll select blue and green screen and that's added that if you go to your filters tab here you can see that blue and green screen is here and now we just really just fiddle with it and that's so uh, that's that's all I really do and fiddle with it the color level and the tolerance um, until I get something that I like and you can see that that changes there it's really as easy as that so we'll take that color level down a bit more and see what it does and it, it'll render and it will it'll show you results in the main window see if we go too far you can see that it will start to key out my own features and um, that's obviously not desired so we'll just fiddle with that. I'm not going to go too nuts on it right now because um, I'm just showing you quickly. But yeah, we'll get it to a rough, basic sort of level. And we'll, we'll mess with the color tolerance. Possibly less than that. And the edge thin, of course. That just controls the amount of spill that you see on the on the edges there as far as I can tell and we want to get rid of obviously as much of that blue as we can and not make it too blurry and my problem here is I've I've got a big crease in my sheet there that I did manage to key out but it took a bit of fiddling edge feather you can see that just that's way too much this is all I really do is just fiddle around until I like what I see and that's uh you know that's about as close as we're getting for now okay and uh, another thing I like to do is add just click on that again just to get rid of this la this kind of bit of spill that we've still got here or to at least help with that we'll go to effects again video filters key ah. 
because this is so professional. <laughs> Alright, spill suppressor blue. If you had a green screen, obviously you'd choose green. And we'll go into that. And you can see the amount is on 100, but we can take that down. To whatever we want. Anyway, that that's kind of good enough for what I want. Uh, we go further along and you can see that the background is changing as the, the the first track is changing as well. And that's really, I mean that's that's basically it. I'd probably do a bit more work on this and mess with the parameters a bit more, maybe numerically, depending on how uh, fastidious I'm going to be that day. But yeah, that, I mean that's basically all I do, and um, I'm sure if you, I'm sure there's ways to to go into, you know, um, the chroma keyer and all this other stuff, to to make your look even better, and uh, and and get this get this line not looking blurry and so on. But yeah, I like I said, this this is my first time doing this, and I really, I really just went in here and messed around, so this is what I came up with trying to do it so coolness and um, I'll continue to mess with blue screen hopefully learn a lot from people who are, who are actually doing this and know how to do it and uh, yeah as I learn you learn as well and hopefully hopefully you're not learning bad habits because at this channel we like to teach people bad habits it's kind of a trademark uh, I I get people every day telling me you're doing the you're doing the wrong thing you you um you know you should be doing this and should be doing that I love those comments because I get to learn stuff um which is really cool so keep those comments coming tell me for God's sake tell me if I'm doing things wrong because I would um or or if there are better ways to do things and I'm I'm doing the long road um because yeah I I'm learning from all of your feedback so it's been really good okay that's uh that's your basic blue screen well, that's how i do it and uh <coughs> oh, i've coughed i've coughed again and i know that tony the wine cone uh is annoyed when i cough on mic but i can't help it it's so stuffy in here so um apologies tony that's it this has been a very long couple of videos or one video if i can cram it in and uh thanks for thanks for listening and watching and hopefully you've gained something out of this see you guys later